First of all, what's so good about the PS5? Well, if you have a PS4 or older and you're used to that rocket, you know, that rocket ship taking off every time you turn it on, you don't have to worry about that with the PS5. The PS5 is very nice and quiet. In fact, the only time it really gets a little loud is probably about for five seconds when you turn it on. Here, listen. you also notice that to connect this, it's very easy. There's only two cords that plug in the back. One is a power cord, so you plug that in and then you plug the power in. The other one is an HDMI cord that will go through and connect to the back of your TV. Most TVs do have HDMI nowadays. If your TV is more than five years, you might want to just double check. But if it's a newer TV, you probably won't have any problems, especially if it's a flat screen. The version of the PS5 I got does have the disc, and that's so I can play older games that I have laying around. If you don't have any discs or you don't plan on buying the discs, you can save by going the other route. Because we have some older games and we like to go to flea markets from time to time, I definitely went with the discs because then people can pass them down. If you don't have that, you're going to have to download them. And if you do ever run out of space, you're going to have to delete some to put in other games. Where if it's on a disc, you could just pop the disc in. So I do recommend the one with the disc if you're on the fence. If you're not, then go with your gut. The PS5 has been amazing. I haven't had any problems with it. It's been very solid. I have it standing up and down. Most people say recommend laying it down, but both ways work. The PS5 does only come with one remote, so make sure you pick up another if you're going to be playing two-player. The PS5 is a great system, and you're going to notice great performance. It's quick, it's fast, it's nice, and the interface is great. The remotes are futuristic. You can move the remotes. You have a area where you can swipe to do commands. You have all of these triggers. There's so many different things to do with the PS5. It's definitely a console that's going to be around for a long time and it does play your PS4 games. So if you're interested in this, I would definitely go through and give it a shot. You won't be let down. I know I haven't. The only thing I need is some more games. <laughs> My name is Kevin from Helpful Tutorials and I hope this was helpful. Hey everyone, before we wrap up, I just want to let you know, if you're interested in purchasing the product I reviewed today, there's a link in the description box below. Just to be completely transparent with you all, I do earn a small commission for many purchases made through the link, but it doesn't cost you any extra. But using my link will go through and support my work, and I generally appreciate that. Your support helps me continue to create more content and provide honest reviews for you. If you'd like to see more product reviews, feel free to visit my Amazon storefront below. Thank you so much for your support, and I hope my tutorials continue to be helpful to you.